Hello beautiful people, how are you? Welcome, welcome. This is a bonus general tarot guidance for all signs. It's not broken down into all 12. It's a general collective reading of the energy going on at the moment. So with me, Julie Poole, hello. Get yourself a cup of tea or coffee or wine. It's tea and tarot time with Julie. Let's have a look what we've got going on for the collective. Okay. All right, my beautiful people, this is good for everybody, okay? If you resonate with it, take the bits that resonate, leave the rest. Okay, this is the Tower of Dreams, and we're starting off with the Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, Six of Coins, nice, Wheel of Fortune, the Empress in the center, beauty and abundance. We've got four of coins, page of wands, the star, looking good, and the two of cups. Okay, let's find out some more. These are the energy oracle cards for the collective, please. Okay, the thinking woman, walking away, and I want to get one from the Wisdom of the Oracle for the collective, please. It's the message. Fork in the road. Okay. All right. Let's get your affirmations out. These are mine from Hoping to Have in the original deck. I am responsible for myself and only myself. I let go of other people's problems. Okay. They... We're going to have one of each of the cards, okay? This is the Wealth and Success deck. And we have, I let go of fear of money. Money is there to expand me into the best version of myself. Okay, and let's get a Loving Connections affirmation. All right, this is to do with relationships, not necessarily romantic. Okay. I have the ability to connect with others. I am ready, willing and able to connect from the heart and to build loving, supportive relationships and friendships. Okay, anything else? Oh, they want two of these. Chatty today, aren't they? Chatty. All right, these are the Everyday Spirit Guide affirmation cards. Everything you need, the description box below has got all the links. Okay, we've got Dream. Time to visualize, live your dream and reach for the stars. I like that because we've got the Empress and the star there and I want the top one as well. Intuition. <clears throat> Connect with your higher self. Listen to your gut feeling. Follow your inner voice. All right. Okay, so let's have a little chat then. Come closer. All right. We've got the Empress in the center of your reading, which is just beautiful. This is beauty and abundance and creating exactly, dreaming what you want to create and bringing it into fruition. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Star as well. So we've got three major arcanas. We've got wands and coins and cups, no swords. Mm, okay, but we do have the thinking woman. And that is very much swords energy, thinking things through, having a good old contemplate. Because we are in a shifting energy, my collective, all right? September is very significant for energy shifting. It's been a little bit chaotic, but all for the good because it's bringing up what needs to go. It's reevaluating, it's resetting, and we're stepping into this new higher vibrational energy. OK, it's going to carry on like this for the rest of this year, by the way, and in a very positive way. All right. So we're leaving what doesn't serve us. We're moving into our best selves now. All right. It's really starting to ramp up the 5D energy. So I like it a lot. All right. So let's have a look then. They want me to start with this one. I am responsible for myself and only myself. I let go of other people's problems. Okay, so I want you to just drink that in for a little minute. How many of your problems in your life, your stresses, strains, pressures and problems are actually not even yours? 
They are to do with your job, your um, colleagues, your organisation, your family, your neighbourhood. What problems are actually not yours, but you've taken them on as yours. So can we let go of that? Right. That doesn't mean we don't help and it doesn't mean we don't care, but they're not our problems. Right. So when we can, I use this on the other channel and the example, actually, on my manifesting channel, um, talking about being able to let go of other people's problems. So often we imagine that, you know, our kids are having struggles or our parents are having struggles and all of a sudden it becomes our struggle we can help without taking on their problems. It's their problem. I can help, but it's your problem. I can help you and support you, but it's not my problem, it's yours. Now that might sound quite harsh, but if you imagined, and this is the way that I tend to imagine it with my clients, I want you to imagine a room full of boxes and each box represents a different problem. And just imagine all those boxes there and then ask yourself, how many of them belong to my son, my daughter, my mum, my boss, my this, my that, right? And how many are actually left that are mine? When we look at it like that, we go, oh, I can manage that. That's okay. <laughs> There's only three boxes left that are mine. Everybody else's is everybody else's. We then can release that burden, all right? And it brings us into a better space. So you're only responsible for yourself. So you're letting go of other people's problems. And as I said, doesn't mean you can't help them, but they're not your problems. Separate it. I'm help, I am helping you with your problem. It's not my problem, it's yours, okay? Separate it out. It makes life a hell of a lot easier, I promise you, okay? All righty, so the center of the reading, you've got the Empress. Venus energy, we're in Venus time now, right? This is Libra season, this which is ruled by Venus. The Empress is ruled by Venus. Beauty, abundance, all the good stuff, the flourishing, the sowing the seeds for something that you're going to grow, like she's holding that beautiful baby there. Didn't grow it overnight, it took some time, but we're sowing the seeds to bring beauty into our life. So what is that for you? Is it a better job? Is it a better home? Is it better connections? Is it better health? What is it for you? What are you sowing the seeds of? What are you creating? And you're creating it with the star and energy underneath of you really being in your light, of your hopes and dreams and aspirations, okay? Let's see if it'll focus, thank you. Time to visualize, live your dream and reach for the stars. We've got the star here. So the star is you shining brightly in your hopes, dreams, aspirations, bringing your light right up, you know, to like 6,000 illumines or whatever they're called, really shining brightly here from a soul perspective. And this is also the Six of Cups is the soul card. It's also the soul mates card, nostalgia, past people you've known a long time, friendships, people you care about. It's that kind of thing that is bringing in this abundance. So this can mean family around you and it's really beautiful. This can mean just you reconnecting with that part of you that has that innocence, that creative trust, that flow because we're in a new beginning, as we can see with the Ace of Wands here. Fresh start, a completely different energy. It is empowered, passionate, fiery, motivated, energized. We're in this new energy now. This is confirmed with the Wheel of Fortune underneath it. So the wheel is there turning in your favor, a new karmic cycle now. All right, so we've got new and new here. And then we've got the page of wands. Pages are new opportunities. For what? For the fire, for the passion. This is new opportunities for anything that's going to light your fire. So it could be a new job, a new business. This could be a new friendship, a new relationship. But we're opening up to opportunities to let my star shine, to let myself create my best life. And we're in this energy of receiving with the six of coins, which is why he's holding the coin out. This is a card of generosity, of having more than enough, of being in the flow, 
of money. All right. And we've got this card here of I let go of the fear of money. Money's there to expand me into the best version of myself. We all of us hold a lot of fear around money. You know, fear of that bill coming in. I've got to find money to pay it. We want to neutralize that and say, OK, there's more than enough. If I get a bill, there'll be more than enough to be able to pay it, to be able to be OK with it. We want to let go of the fear of money because we don't get what we are, what we want. We get what we are. All right. I've said this to you before. If you have fear of money, then you will continue to experience negativity around money. So we want to shift that. OK, we want to shift it and get into a flow of abundance because this is abundance. She's abundance and there's opportunities here to receive when we look at the diagonal there. All right. So we open up these opportunities. We're creating an additional wealth, an increase in wealth. Okay, now rooted down with the four of coins, which there is enough money here, but he's scared that there's not more coming, which is why it's in a little box with a, a lid and he's got the key around his neck. It's holding on a little bit too tightly. So we want to trust and allow and let go to trust that there's more where that came from. Right. We're letting go of the fear of money. When we look at this middle row coming this way. All right. The wheel of fortune, the new karmic cycle, a new beginning that's much more abundant and beautiful and creative. There is enough money. So let's let go that there won't be more than enough because there is. Let go of any resistance to the change that the Wheel of Fortune is bringing in because we're meant to be walking away from something that doesn't serve us. We're walking towards a higher vibration. We're walking towards living from the heart, living in trust, living in abundance. That's what we're walking away from, those limitations. So I want you to think about, with the thinking woman, think about... Are you aligned with abundance and flow and prosperity or are you aligned with struggle and lack? And if you are, please get my golden book there, Wealth and Success. It'll help you. We're going to shift that thinking. I am abundant. All my needs are met abundantly. OK, so I'm walking away from the old cycle and I'm taking a fork in the road. I'm taking a different direction. Now, it doesn't have to be a 360 or a 180 completely different direction. A fork in the road can be a slight diversion. It can be a, you know, it doesn't have to be completely the other way. It can be a slight angle off. But we're doing something a little bit differently because we're opening to these opportunities to step into our star energy, our star light into our hopes, wishes, dreams and aspirations. And some of those dreams are related to love. We've got the two of cups here. Now, to get that two of cups, we need to do a little fork in the road. We need to do it a little bit differently. So the two of cups is love, partnerships, relationships, family, friends, connections. But it's also self-love and it's you loving life, loving yourself, loving what you do and who you are, just bringing love into your world more and more and more. All right. So this is where we want to connect. OK, let's look at this one for a minute. OK, so I have the ability to connect with others. I'm ready, willing and able to connect from the heart and build loving, supportive relationships and friendships. This is what they want you to be moving into, living from the heart, loving from the heart, loving your job, loving your home, loving your friends, loving your neighborhood, loving yourself. So what opportunities are going to be around you to be able to connect and build those loving relationships? We're doing it from the place of the light and the star. This is healing energy as well. And we're also going to do it from a place of intuition. All right. We're going to trust that intuition. We're going to connect with your higher self. Listen to your gut feeling and follow the inner voice because that inner voice can be leading you to 
a beautiful new friendship, a lovely relationship. It could be leading you to improve the relationships you've already got on a deeper connected level. So what is it that we are thinking through? What is it that we're walking away from? And it's limitations and it's the old order and it's the old restrictions. That's what we're walking away from. We're stepping into our intuition, our abundance, our prosperity, and we're dreaming big. So let's find out a little bit more. I'm going to use the Rider weight to clarify. Tell me more, please, for the collective. What other information do you have for the collective, please? Six of Swords. See, that's the walking away card. Well, being sailing away card in this case. He is doing the work for her to move that boat over to the other shore. This card talks about the grass is greener on the other side. It's smoother. It's easier. After we've been through battle and discourse and challenges and difficulties, we're now moving into easier times. Now moving into easier times. And that easier times is going to bring opportunities your way for greater happiness. This can be an offer with the Knight of Cups, an offer of love, friendship. This can be an offer of a new job that's going to make you very happy. The Cups is happiness. You're being offered, offered here. And yet yeah, you're being asked to open up and to take action on your happiness, on your abundance, on your prosperity, on the beauty in your life. So how can you create that? This can be you creating it. All nights are action. But this can be somebody else bringing it to you. It's an offer coming your way that enables you to move on towards these easier times. And then you can take a step back and you can rest and recharge and chill. See, the Six of Swords comes after the Five of Swords, obviously. Five of Swords is battle energy, and this is saying the battle's over. I can move out of that battle energy now, and I can restore. I can heal. I can rest. I can recharge. No more fighting. No more battling. No more if, buts, and maybes. I'm good now, and now I can relax. Now I can chill. Woof, lovely. Four of Wands, celebrations. Marriage, new homes, new mortgages, upgrades, improvements, promotions. We're moving into a better time, much better time. So it's been a little bit chaotic and turbulent to kind of shift that energy forward. All right. But not in a negative way, but it's a little bit chaotic in September. But we're moving. We've done the work, you see, to put those four corner posts in. And now we can build on that. The work's already been done. We've been doing the work really from March through till the beginning of September. And now that new energy is settling in. And if we imagine after a big shift in energy, we just need to let everything settle down. And this is the settling down energy. Let's just settle down for a minute because now we're in a new space. So for many of you, this is a new home or a new job. This is... Um, it's always about improvements, all right? It's an upgrade, it's an uplift, it's more enriched, it's happier. We've got the Queen of Swords with the Thinking Woman. And the Thinking Woman really is very like the Queen of Swords because she is all about using a nozzle, using her logic, her intelligence, getting clear, you know, what is it that's going on? What do I want to do about it? And the Queen of Swords is clarifying that, confirming it that this is a time where you can get really clear because you're out of all the chaos. You've moved out of the chaos, you've recharged, and now you can get really clear about the next step, about what you're doing and where you're going. You can get really clear. Page of Cups is here now. Another opportunity. Knight of Wands taking the action. The Page of Cups. So I said Knight of Wands, didn't I? Beg your pardon. Knight of Cups the new offers coming in and the creation of even more offers. The Page of Cups is the opportunities for greater happiness. And there's always a fish in the cup. All right? The fish in tarot represent abundance. So we're moving into a much more abundant time, a much more fulfilled, enriched time. And it feels really good, really good. 
All right, let's get you some angel cards to finish off. This is the Oracle of the Angels. Um, what do we have, please? Angel whispers. There's your intuition coming through. The angels whispering in your ear, trying to guide you. Listen to that inner nudge then, yeah? Listen to that inner voice. It will guide you when you listen. So hear it, listen to it, and follow it. The eternal light of love is here. And there's a strong emphasis on truth and clarity here. Because the sword, just get it to focus, there you go. He's holding his sword aloft, all right? That is higher self, all right? The bigger, greater version of you. That sword is pointing right up to the throat chakra and the light shining out through his third eye. This is me getting clear with that sword, you see? And we've got the queen of swords as well getting really clear about what I want to say and do and I'm allowing my intuition to guide me into that new energy, new life, new light. It's lovely. Let's get you an Angel of Atlantis card. Message for the collective, please. Thank you. Sandalphon with evolution. And this is what we're talking about with the wheel of fortune. The wheel turns, everything evolves, everything shifts. We're on a new wheel turn of the cycle. We're on a new shift, okay? The, what's the word I'm trying to find? It's, it's a new karmic cycle. It's a new cosmic cycle. It's a new energetic cycle. And it's all to do with our evolution and growth. And look at the colors here. This is the solar plexus. This is the power, the confidence, the courage to step forward, to step away from what you need to step away to, from and into something new that is evolving you into your future self. Your future self's waiting for you here now. We're stepping into it. All right. Let's finish off with some unicorn cards for the collective, please. Thank you. We have number eight, open to abundance. And number 16, soul healing. A align with your essence and see your true colors. And open to abundance. Believe you deserve, accept plenty and prosperity. Just beautiful. If you don't know how to get into that energy of prosperity and abundance, please do get my book, all right? By now, by the time this goes live, the Audible version should be available, all right? So it's already out on Kindle, hardback, paperback. If you want the Audible version, it should be there now. That is the formula to wealth and success to show you how to get into abundance. It literally is a step-by-step -step guide. It's much more detailed than my last book about money, all right? Giving you many more tips and tricks and tools and lists, and this is what you've got to do and it works, okay? All right, my beautiful people, that's what I have for you um, at the moment, and I hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a like, a share. If you haven't yet, do think about subscribing, and I'll be back with your first half of October's readings very soon. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.